everybody, I'm Shell, and I am so happy to share with you my newest Time and Tide collection for Free Spirit Fabrics. It is in store now, so run, hurry, and pick up your yardage so that you can create some really amazing things with this brand new collection. The collection um, is really personal to me because it was inspired by my new home studio, which is down on the Gulf Coast of Florida. We moved down here part-time before the pandemic began, thinking it would just be a little respite, a little quiet place to get away. I had a, have an art studio here as well. And um, it's turned out to just be such an amazing gift. I get to go to the beach and you know clear my head and take walks and see all of the things that are so inspirational to me and are so much at the cornerstone of the kinds of collections that I create. You know, most of my work has a little bit of a decidedly modern coastal feel. So Time and Tide is no different. And I'm excited about this one because it's really 100% my vision beginning to end based off of my artwork. And, um, and it also features this amazing panel print in my blues and greens, my soul colors, um, I am convinced that salt water runs through my veins because this is just, this is, a, this is so inspirational to me. This, these are the colors that I love that really feel like home to me. So this is the Tide panel and it's a continuous piece of, uh, it's a panel print, so it's continuous fabric, no beginning, no end. You can certainly see where the repeat is, but it is very, very fluid. And what's cool about that is it really lets you have a lot of versatility when you're creating with it. So you can certainly use this as is, like to back a quilt. It could be a beautiful whole cloth quilt. Please, please, somebody make me a whole cloth quilt with this so I can see what that is. Um, I think that would be really stunningly beautiful. Um, you can certainly use it in a traditional way and cut it into pieces and stitch it back. And what would be neat about that is that every cut would be different and unique because of all of the variations within the pattern itself. Um, I am working on an art piece with this, a little bit of an art installation where I'm taking cuts from the panel, various sizes I think it will ultimately be, but like 10 by 10 uh, cuts of the panel and I'm basically, some of them will just be the panel itself that are framed on stretcher strips. Some will be embroidered, some will be um, stitched and applique back together again. So I, you know, I'm, I'm excited, you know, we'll see what I do with it. I'm a bit of an improvisational kind of quilter. And so as you know, the artist in me wants to chop this up into a million pieces and then figure out a way to put it back together again in a new cool way. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens with that. So that's the tie panel. Let me show you some of the coordinating fabrics that go with it. Uh, first off, we have urchin comes in two colorways. Okay. I love this pattern. Um, you've seen it before. I, I do a lot with urchin and of course it's super, you know, beachy, beach themed. But what's so lovely about this is that the softness of the watercolor really comes through. I don't know, I hope you can see how totally watercolory that is. It's very tonal this particular print and um, it's just soft. I love both colorways, a lot of versatility with both of those. This is beach glass. I collect seashells and beach glass all the time. Always little pieces in my pockets when I come back from my beach walks. And this is just a very uh, pretty playful print that I think would be really fun if you stitched around all of the little individual beach glass pieces. I think that would kind of lend itself to kind of a pebbly feel. Could be very, very pretty. This is called Murmuration and is my little play on Birds in Flight. Playful as well. Two palettes. This one has a little bit of a modeling in the background, which is very pretty. Could be clouds or Sand, it's just definitely has a, a beachy vibe to it. Um, and the colors on this one are just super pretty. They're very light. Look how nice they look with beach glass. Like these two are meant to be together. Marriage made in heaven right there. Super pretty. 
This is sea flower, and sea flower is, um, you know, another very modern coastal kind of pattern. It has a very watercolory background, and the design itself is cool. You could really cut a lot of these little pieces out, do some applique work with them. I think that would be very lovely with both of these. Um, I think they could be very interesting in applique. Somebody do something like that. This is like my wish list video. <laughs> I would like you to do this. And so hopefully someone will hear it and, uh, and heed my call and do that. And then we have Ebb and Flow, which of course is my version, my take. Sorry for the, it's not, it's a little bit wrinkly, but hopefully you can still see. My take on the tide lines as the water uh, comes up onto the beach and then recedes again. It always leaves this beautiful, like very, very faint line behind. And I love that. I, I watch that for hours when I'm at the beach. Yeah, I'm that lady. But um, this fabric, I think, is a really nice, soft, gentle way to honor that, that particular pattern. And then we have Pebble. And Pebble is my signature pattern. You've seen it before. I have, uh, I licensed my designs for many different product lines and Pebble is one of those designs that has had a really beautiful longevity for me. Uh, you can find it on quilting, uh, quilts like bedding that you can purchase in store. You can find it on rugs, um, silk pillows. It's, it's a very nice pattern and it works really nicely in a variety of scales. So for here, for quilting fabric, we've done it really, really small. And it's just a really beautiful uh, blender fabric. I, I'm excited to see how you use this. I mean, I, I just want a dress in this. Someone, would you like to make me a dress, a little sundress and pebble? Uh, and also in the tie panel, that would be really, be <laughs> that would be cute. In fact, I think this whole line would lend itself really nicely to little sundresses and apparel for beach. So if there's any uh, manufacturers out there watching, give me a call. Okay, so. This collection, um, obviously, dear to my heart, I've worked with a couple of different designers so far on some projects with it, and I just wanted to share two of them today with you. And the first is these really adorable face masks that I worked with Alexandra Ferguson. Um, we connected online. She is a, a very successful business owner. She does these really fun pillows with salty, uh, sassy phrases on them. I love her. She's she's fun. It's just so much fun. And she worked with me taking, we did a little giveaway over the last few weeks. So if you're on my Instagram page, you probably saw that and probably participated. We had a nice turnout for that. But she makes the, she made these beautiful little face masks for us. Each one unique and different because she cut them from the Tides panel. So that's, you know, head over to her website. She may still have some of these for sale over on her um, on her Etsy page. Also, I have had the pleasure of working with a designer named Anna Buzzolino. She's from Canada, and she created this gorgeous wall hanging for me out of the Time and Tide collection. I met Anna at um, a quilt market several years ago. We just connected, and uh, through the years I followed her. She's really talented. I knew I wanted to do something with her. This collection seemed the perfect fit because she has classes where she teaches people how to do these really fun pebbles and rocks out of fabric. And so I just knew that this was gonna be like her collection. This was just gonna be perfect for her. So let me take it down so you can just get a closer look. You know, one of the things I love about this is she does some beautiful intricate stitch work. And all she did was really follow along um, the tie panel and it just, it ident you know, it really outlined a lot of the pieces and very, very pretty. And then she's also very skilled at um, hand embroidery. Take a look there at the bottom. And then of course her rocks. So if you go to uh, her website, I'll, I'll have a blog post about this. So I'll, I'll put all her information out into the world for you. If you're interested in um, taking one of her classes to learn how to make the rocks, you should, because then you could come take all of my fabrics. I think the rocks just made out of my pebble pattern would be super interesting and very, very pretty. Um, and so I'll have all the information available to you. You can look online and, and hopefully be inspired to create something. Thanks for letting me just share a little bit more about the collection. I'm so excited that it's finally here. We've all been waiting a really long time. 
for it to arrive. And so to all of the quilt shops out there, to the quilt shop owners, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing it in store, bringing it to your customers. Please, if you create something with my collection, make sure you do hashtag shell rummel time and tide. Um, that way I'll see it because I'm following that hashtag for all of the different projects with the collection. And so I'm excited to see what you make. Um, I've got ideas. If you want to talk to me about them, call me up, you know, message me and we can chat about some cool ideas. I'm probably going to still need some more sewers to do a couple of them so I can bring a few more of them to life. So stay in touch with me. Thanks again. Thanks for watching and thanks again for loving my fabrics. I really appreciate you. Happy creating.